Hello, everyone. Let me get my PowerPoint up here. So today, the topic I'll be discussing is 2021 North American wildfires, but more specifically, California wildfires. So as I said, the topic I'll be discussing today is California wildfires, and the impact they have has been very hazardous on workplace environments and also just day-to-day -day life for people. I will also be detailing the amount of resources and talking about the expenses it takes just to eliminate one wildfire. And, I will, and furthermore, I will also be talking about the Dixie Fire and its impact on California while also going into detail about the causes of these wildfires that I found. So why I chose this topic. I chose this topic because while I was researching wildfires that occurred in California, I found it interesting how the number of wildfires spiked from April to September, and it really piqued my interest in the subject. Yeah, as you can see in the chart here, I just think it's very interesting how from starting in April to around October, it just really, like the wildfires just really went up in the season. It's just crazy to me how many wildfires there were. And this was reported by Cal Fire Incidents. I just found that just really interesting just and piqued my interest because this, normally there is not that many during that season. So next, I want to talk about microparticles and their impact. Because there, okay, and this article is, what is the health impact of wildfire smoke? Because there are so many wildfires burning worldwide, the pollution they give off is increasingly contributing more toxic substances into the air we breathe. Smoke is made up of tiny, mostly carbon-based particles, says Pinkerton, the director of UC Center for Health and the Environment. The size of these particles is critical. Those that are 2.5 micrometers or smaller in size, known as PN2.5, can enter deep into the airways and alveoli of the lungs. That can lead to smoke exposure that can include irritation of the eyes and throat, coughing, sneezing, chest tightening, and wheezing. And that can be even worse for people who have asthma, such as my dad. And, and this picture here shows, it's a different article, but it shows that, shows like just all that smoke and just terrible. It's terrible for everyone because these people have to live in these places. A guy that was in the article said that he really, his, his apartment was right by there, so he couldn't escape it. And I just found that very interesting, like, and just sad, because these people can't really get out of this, and it's terrible, you know? So the next slide I'll be talking about is the impact on work and day-to-day -day life from wildfires in California. So as you can see here, this is an agricultural setting where people have to work every day, and it really is terrible. They can't, like, like I've said time and time again, they can't escape this. It's just, it's really scary, you know? And these people, like, they can't just rid up their lives and leave, you know? And the health effects, for example, in driving places are even worse, like as shown here, because you're literally in a little box and it traps that smoke in your car more. And it's just terrible, like it's not good at all. So this chart shows the largest wildfires in California in the past 78 years, the 20 largest ones. And it's interesting to me how in the past two years, there have been wildfires that deliver more destruction than in the past 76 years in 2020 and 2021. Look at that. It's just crazy. And it's, I just thought that was very just interesting. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that there are more buildings than there was in the prior to the past two years. It, it, and that's why there's more, you know, more destruction. But I just think that's very terrible. But it's, it really opened my eyes to how many wildfires there really has been this year in California. So next I'll be talking about the Dixie Fire and I have some interesting facts I want to tell you guys. So the Dixie Fire is the second largest fire in California history. It even was seen on satellites as pictured here. And that's a map of the fire and the all, the, all of its impact and how large it was. So at the height of the operation, 6,579 people worked to contain the fire. Pictured and also pictured here is the headquarters with all these fire trucks and all these other resources I'll be talking about. And the operation looked like a small town demonstrating the economic toll on the state of California. More than, and all in all, 1,174 miles of hose were used. Bulldozers cost $7,000 a day. And for 100 days, that'd be around $700,000 in expenses just for the bulldozers for the state. Also, the Dixie Fire felt like a hopeless effort to those working on containing the damage. And today, 
the fire is contained, but when this article came out, it was only 33% contained. And just to go back to some of the resources, I thought it was really interesting how much hose, hoses they had to use. It just blows my mind how, how many resources they really had to expend to even contain this fire. And it was almost a hopeless effort every day. It's scary, you know? So here I have a few pictures. And pictured above is near Sierra Nevada. And what I learned from this article titled What's California's Unprecedented Wildfires is that a lot of is a lot of things. As you can see in the photo, there are very dry conditions throughout the state, and there has been a huge drought throughout this past year, resulting in the perfect conditions for wildfires. And as you can see, it really is you can see all these dry conditions as all these people are driving. And Sierra Nevada, it's not usually like that. And it's just crazy how it really was almost the perfect almost melting pot for you know these fires to occur. And some other causes are lightning, which is a small percentage of it, but still it happens. And then human causes, including electrical failures, campfires, debris, burning, smoking, and arson, which you know are make up 95% of it. And I think the, what covers the other percentages too, and just a little bit more, is the dry conditions really made, almost made these a little bigger, which is very interesting to me. So here is my lovely WorkSage page. Thank you for watching. And have a great break, everyone.